So I've got a question for us to look at here. And, and if you followed uh, the previous lecture on the method of cylindrical shells, this is actually the example problem uh, that I used to illustrate the method there. If you didn't watch that, there will be a link to it when we get to the end. So what I want to do is I want to take uh, the region formed by the graph of y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3 and the x-axis, which is what we've got in the diagram here. And I want to rotate this around the y-axis. That's going to give us a, a, a solid that looks kind of like a, a bunt pan or, or an, uh, an upside-down jello mold, for example. Uh, and I want to know what its area is. Well, and as we talked about in, in the last lecture, um, normally your, your, first, your first thought here might be to use the washer method. Uh, but the washer method gets pretty awkward pretty fast because to use that uh, and rotate around the y-axis, I would have to take that function formula there uh, and solve it for x. Right? It needs to be x equals something with y's in it, and that would be unpleasant. right? Um, even more unpleasant to try to square it and then integrate it. So instead, we're, we're going to use this uh, our new tool here, the method of cylindrical shells. So I've got the formula here. Right? Remember, it's 2 pi integral from a to b, x minus l times f of x dx. That l uh, is the, uh, if we're rotating around the line x equals l, right? that's where the l comes from. Now, we're rotating around the y-axis. The y-axis is the line x equals 0. Uh, so that actually makes this pretty easy. Well, if I put 0 in there for l, uh, the formula just becomes this here. Now, next, I need the, the limits of integration. To do those, I have to take ne that negative x squared plus 4x minus 3, set that equal to 0, and, and solve it. That's just a, it, it factors nicely, right? So it's just a straightforward polynomial equation. So I'm going to integrate from 1 to 3. Uh, and f of x, that's just going to be that negative x squared plus 4x minus 3 polynomial. So if I put all, all three of those things in here, the integral becomes this, and that's a, a pretty basic integral, right? It's just a polynomial. So, well, but I'll, I'll walk through the steps here, right? If we distribute the x into the parentheses, it becomes the integral of negative x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x. Uh, integrate each of the individual terms using uh, the power rule. Uh, this becomes a negative x to the fourth over 4 plus 4 cubed over 3 minus 3 squared over 2. We're going to evaluate that from 1 to 3. So now we do the substitution part. Um, and it gets a little long, right? I didn't have enough, nearly enough room to squeeze it in in that column there. So, we're going to, so I'm going to give myself a blank piece of paper. Uh, if we put 3 in, we get the first three terms there. If we put 1 in, we get the second three terms. Uh, and now it's really just an arithmetic problem, right? If we simplify the exponents, uh, we get this. And then if you do a common denominator, uh, do the all the addition and subtraction, the left-hand part becomes 9 fourths. The right-hand part is negative 5 twelfths. Uh, one more fraction addition, and we get our final answer, 16 pi over 3. So that was a relatively straightforward example. Uh, in the next one, uh, we'll take a look at a scenario where uh, we rotate around something other than the y-axis. Kind of see how the formula plays out when we do that. Uh, if you'd like to go back and, and take a look at that original lecture where I derived uh, this method, there's a link to do that here. Uh, and, of course, if you, if you like this uh, example, please don't forget to click on the like button down below as well.